So traffic modelling is essentially a computer model, a mathematical model, that we use to predict people's trip patterns and travel choices so that we understand the uses of roads and public transport on the network. We start by collecting a lot of data. We need to understand where people live, where they work, where they shop, and therefore where they, how they travel. This data comes from a number of sources. We collect information from Vic roads, such as traffic counts and new technologies such as Bluetooth. PTV provides us with passenger information and the Australian Bureau of Statistics provides us with population, employment and school enrolment information. So we look at four main ways that we use this information within the modelling. The number of trips, how many trips people make, where they go to and from, what mode they take, if they're taking public transport or car, and which route they then take. We do a number of uh, what-if scenarios that we use within the modelling. So we change things such as population, uh, we change employment, and we change other cost factors as well. We go out as far as 2051, but we do intermediate years as well, such as 2026 and 2036 as well. To find out more, visit our website, northeastlink.vic.gov.au. Authorised by Victorian Government, One Treasury Place, Melbourne.